Hey everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, welcome back to the channel. If you look behind us, you'll probably recognize that we're not at Lake Lanier and we're not on the houseboat this week. We're having a two week shift and we're moving from freshwater houseboating for two weeks to saltwater. And what are we doing here and where are we? We are in beautiful French Polynesia celebrating our friend's 50th birthday weekend, which was a number of months ago, but this trip has been about two years in the making. So Jesse and myself, I've chartered a 50 foot catamaran with three other couples. So there'll be eight of us total for 11 days of beautiful sailing here in French Polynesia. We've landed here in Tahiti. We're gonna catch a flight and go over Morea right there. We're gonna land in Rayatea. We'll get on our sailboat. We'll be headed to Bora Bora, Taha, Rayatea again, and Wahine for an absolutely beautiful adventure. Again, this has been two years in the making. We can't wait to show you guys everything. It's gonna be an awesome trip. So stick around with us because I promise you're not gonna wanna miss anything that we talk about and all of this beautiful scenery here. Hi, we're Trey and Jesse. If you're new here, we're an adventure loving couple with a houseboat on Lake Lanier. We typically share our houseboat life on our channel, and this is our story to reconnect with friends and make up for lost time after having a baby at the beginning of COVID, a very isolating time to start a family. And we were the first within our friend group to become parents. After a long, almost 24-hour adventure traveling to Tahiti from the U.S. East Coast, we only had one more short puddle jumper plane ride to the island of Rayatea to board our home away from home catamaran for two weeks. Even though we were all jet lagged, the flight was too beautiful and the excitement for the trip didn't allow for much sleeping. Luckily, this part of the world is only six hours behind where three East Coast couples live and three hours behind the other couple that lives on the West Coast. We chartered a 50-foot catamaran, the biggest boat we've ever chartered, through moorings. We also hired a captain, and our birthday boy, Rich, was excited to use his sailing skills to help sail during the trip. We decided to take the pressure off our first day on board the boat and provision the first three days of food and supplies through moorings. Since we weren't leaving the marina until the next morning, we headed to the grocery store to fill any provisioning gaps for the first few days, which really means booze. We also made sure we had all of our supplies like towels and bed linens, and we found a little beach in the marina to swim off and enjoy the afternoon. The energy and enthusiasm for the trip was electric. As we looked to celebrate our friend's 50th birthday, and we also looked forward to spending time with friends we hadn't seen in a long time because of COVID. While on the surface these trips look like mere vacations, the life aboard sailboats test even the strongest of relationships, much like the ups and downs of the last two years. As we all anticipated a breathtaking four-hour sail to Bora Bora the next morning, this former group of triathletes couldn't help but wonder, do we have what it takes to do the most epic sail trip we've ever done together? battle the elements and strengthen our bond over lost time? Or would it put us to the test?
of our favorite activities on the sail trips is catching and cooking fresh fish while out at sea. Trey is determined to catch some fish on this trip and already has his fishing lines out. And it wouldn't be a sail trip without the clothespin game where we try to clothespin someone without them noticing. Don't forget the clothespins have to have words on them to count. Unfortunately, I got sick on the Bora Bora Crossing, a first for me. So I missed a lot of great footage of us all singing, taking turns playing DJ, and enjoying the feeling of sailing. This sail trip will have the greatest number of passages any of us have ever done, and the elements were already more challenging than we remembered. Yeah, I can see it. They can see it right now. When he you turns, never, he can't see it. You never, you never leave Captain Michelle doesn't know when we're joking. <laughs> oh, look, we're going to Tahiti boats. Grab it! Give it to Trey! Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it Rich! Hey, it Rich, oh, grab it! Michelle, what do I do? Stop. Reverse. Reverse. Oh, no, no, we don't. Oh, no, we don't. Just get it in. We had to give it some instructions. Yeah, you know what you need when this happens? You need seven coaches. <laughs> Very nice. No current. Oh, you son of a bitch. Who got it with the clothespin? pin? That's awesome. Don't listen to Alexandra. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta admit, my wife's pretty good. She wants, judge that, she's, 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 she wants that like cash value life insurance. <laughs> she cuts me enough slack that I'm like, when she says don't do that, I'm like, I probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> she also tends now to drink less. Now what are we doing? Because I'm a judge yet. She also friend. tends to drink less than I do. <laughs> Hello, Deep House Boat Life. How are you? Doing good. How are you doing? Doing great. Just in the most beautiful place in the world. That's What's all. That? Lake, Lake Lanier? Lake Lanier is very pretty. Bora Bora's. I'm gonna top it a little bit. That worked. <laughs> there you go.
So you start with 20, and then you're like, oh. What if I get them both down at the same time? Nope, you gotta do them separately. They gotta be done separately. of our first day in Bora Bora, where few will ever travel, left us feeling grateful for the journey that brought us here in the first place. We had made it in one piece, so we took it easy and enjoyed dinner on shore at Bora Bora Yacht Club and prepared for the breathtaking views and experiences that tomorrow would bring. feels like everything in our friend group has changed and we've had no room to really process it. We've all been through so much the last two years and some of life's many crossroads are approaching. We're finding some will have kids and some won't. Some will live far away and some won't. Some will choose to vote Republican and some won't. And some will have steady, high-paying jobs, and some won't. Some will retire early, and some won't. What used to bond us is starting to feel further and further away. Can we rekindle the old, find the new, and evolve? And isn't variety the spice of life? People who challenge and push you to think differently are supposed to be what makes life interesting, isn't it? Maybe it is for some, and maybe it isn't for others. But it's like they say, 
Never underestimate the miles you spend with someone. What, was it Snorkel Pony? What did it say? I don't know. You know? Maybe Gotcha Bitch or something? Gotcha. No, or Cheeto, or Cheeto Knuckles. Cheeto Knuckles. <laughs> Get out of here. Dog. Hey, pup. Aww. Cute. Oh, she's had babies recently.
are really nice. Uh, oh, purple. Yeah, they're good. Oh, shoot. Cruising. Panama City Beach cruising lights, baby. Hey, look at that little baby coconut. Just like, hey, I'm a baby coconut. PCB spring break. I'm hoping it tastes different because the charcoal, look at the charcoal, it's all coconut husk. So I'm hoping that might give it a little bit of a different flavor on the burger. Yeah. A little bit of a tropical oh. flavor, maybe. Uh, we have to trust that we were in Saudi Arabia, but only black chips. Very, very rare when we get a tiger. Oh. Where'd the shark go? Where'd he go? He's out, he's out by those two orange peels. Yeah, he's out by the two orange peels. You guys got to see a shark! 100 yards, 100 yards out there. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, is he way up there now? I like sharks. Let me know if he comes back in. Hey, y'all quit throwing food. Michelle said I can get in there. With the shark? Yeah. You guys come with the shark? No, I'm just right going to stay around this coral head right here. And if y'all would throw scraps and see if you can attract that jack or another big fish. Okay. And I'll... Just don't, don't, uh, don't no. go dying on me now. No, the thing is, I got to stay close by. Yeah, you gotta get out. <laughs>
See anything? Uh, not nothing. When you, uh, when you rock, you can't get it worth shooting. Nothing worth shooting. Like there was like one fish, he would have been bait. Yeah. Uh, and I shot him. But I missed. But also didn't want to bring a loaded gun back on the boat. I was about to say, I saw you shoot it. Yeah. Oh, you saw me shoot it? Yeah. I shot one? I shot at one, but I missed. What did you shoot at? It's a big kind of grunt bait fish. You chop up and use for bait. Does All it right. fly the direction you think it's going to go? Yeah, it's like a little off. It's a little it's further down because the water distorts everything, but it's fast. Is it? Oh, yeah, I couldn't. I mean, it was, it was lightning fast. How far did it go? Eight feet at least. I mean, it hit the ground. Before it could have gone further. Nice. 
Ah. <clears throat> All right, about to get this started. Hello, Phil. Yeah. Pretty trigger fish down there. Uh, are they all? Uh, we yeah, on the bow. Yeah, once you're ready, you go up front and then go. To the Are you expecting to catch something here? Uh, our captain says we'll be traveling through a channel at the right speed to potentially catch a fish. You've got how many lines set up? This one is not set that up, not right? Set up. Yeah, we'll put a bigger lure on there. So then you set up this one on the side. The starboard side, right? That is the starboard side. That's right, I remember. It's like you're a boat owner. It's like I'm a boat owner. 